Welcome to the module on uh, rigid payments. Today we will be discussing about uh, the surface texturing using uh, brushes and how to measure the depth of uh, texture being done using uh, brush applications on uh, PQC surface. Surface texturing of uh, PQC. Generally two methods are adopted for uh, texturing the PQC both in longitudinal as well as uh, transverse directions. One is uh, texturing by brush and the second one is uh, texturing by tines. In the previous module, we have discussed about uh, how the texturing can be done using tines. And uh, today we will be discussing the brush applications to do the texturing on PQC surface. After final floating and finishing of the slab and before application of the liquid curing membrane, the concrete surface can be textured in a transverse as well as longitudinal directions using either a brush or a tines as shown in the figure below. The brushed surface texture shall be applied evenly across the slab in one direction by the use of a wire brush not less than 450 millimeters wide, but wider brushes normally of 3 meter lengths can also be done as shown in the figure. The photograph shows the mode of manual texturing in the presence of an automated texturing machine. The brushes shall be made of 32 gauge tape wires grouped together in tufts placed at 10 millimeters center to center. The tufts shall contain an average of 14 wires and initially be 100 millimeters long as shown in the figure. The brush shall have two rows of uh, tufts. The rows shall be 20 millimeters apart and the tufts in one row shall be opposite the center of the gap between the tufts in the other row. The brush shall be replaced when the shortest tuft veers down to 90 millimeters long as shown in the figure. Surface texturing or uh, texture depth requirements are the surface of the slab shall be brushed textured in transverse directions. Wire brushes are used for this purpose. The texture depth generally should be average works out to be 1.25 or 1 plus minus 0.25 millimeters. That means the texture depth should be in the range of 0.75 millimeters to 1 millimeters. And the, the depth of uh, texture is uh, generally measured using a sand patch method. As shown in the figure, this is a texture which can be measured using a sand patch method. The concept of a sand patch method, if you see, the PQC surface is after being textured, looks uh, like uh, the figure shown in uh, the top, which is having a grooved uh, type of uh, surface on top of the PQC surface. So what is being done is the, the sand is being poured on top of the surface. Initially, the sand will be in the shape of a cone as shown in the figure, which then rotates, which then uh, spreads across uh, the textured uh, surface uh, by moving the disc on top of it so that the sand will fill the gap, the grooves in the gap and the average uh, depth or the mean texture depth can be measured using the formulas. The texture depth shall be determined by the sand patch test as described in clause 602.12 of MORTH, that is Ministry of Road Transports and Highways. Five individual measurements of texture depth shall be taken at least two meters apart anywhere along a diagonal line across the lane width between points 50 meter apart along the pavement. No measurement shall be taken within 300 millimeters of the longitudinal edges of a concrete slab constructed in one pass. It is required to conduct a sand patch test measurement to determine the texture depth being 
done using a brush application on PQC surface is a cylindrical container of 25 milliliter internal capacity, a flat wooden disc 64 millimeters diameter with a hard rubber disc, 1.5 millimeter thick next to one face, the reverse face being provided with a handle so that uh, the disc can be rotated on uh, the surface where the sand is being poured. Dry natural sand with a rounded particle shape uh, passing 300 micron ISCU and retained on 150 micron ISCU is generally used as the test sample to spread the sand on top of the surface where the texture depth needs to be determined. The surface to be measured shall be dried, any extraneous mortar and loose materials removed and the surface is swept clean using a wire brush both at right angles and parallel to the carriageways. The cylindrical container shall be filled with sand, taping the base three times on the surface to ensure compaction. The striking off of sand levels with the top of the cylinders. The sand shall be poured into a heap on the surface to be treated as shown in the photograph below. The sand shall be spread over the surface, working the disc with its face kept flat in a circular motion so that the sand is spread into a circular patch with the surface depressions filled with sand to the level peaks as shown in the figure. The photograph uh, shows uh, the instruments required to conduct the sand patch test on the extreme left top hand photograph. On the extreme right top side, you can see that the sand is being poured and is being rotated using a disc, spacer disc of uh, 64 millimeters diameter so that the sand is uniformly spread uh, across the texture depth. And the photograph which is on the extreme left bottom shows how one can measure the diameter of the sand being poured so that the diameter will be used to calculate the texture depth on the PQC surface. The diameter of the patch shall be measured to the nearest 5 millimeters. The texture depth of the concrete surface shall be calculated uh, using the formula 31,000 divided by d square, which will give you the result in millimeters, that is the texture depth in millimeters, where d is the diameter of the patch uh, generally measured in millimeters. The tolerance in measurements, if you see, using a sand patch method, a texture depth shall not be less than the minimum required depth nor greater than the average of 1.25 millimeters. A table is shown in uh, MORTH uh, revision 5, that is Ministry of uh, Roads and uh, Transport, Road Transports and Highways. Table 600.5 talks about the texture depth tolerances between 24 hours and 7 days after the construction of the slab or until the slab is first used by the vehicles. You need to take uh, five measurements and the average of five measurements should be 1 plus minus 0.25. The value should be in the range of 1 plus minus 0.25 where 1 is the specified value and the tolerance is plus or minus 0.25. Under the second category, when uh, not later than six weeks before the road is opened to traffic and again an average of five measurements uh, has to be considered in order to accept or reject the texture depth. The specified value is 1 and the tolerance is given plus 0.25 and minus 0.35. So in this case, what is required is you can have a lesser value of minus 0.35 where in general you have minus 0.25 only. So if you see a, the graph which is being plotted based on uh, the diameters being measured, the sand diameters being measured on the flex, on the texture surface and uh, the texture depth being calculated using the formula that is 31,000 divided by d square. For various uh, diameters, you have measured the texture depth, uh, like for example, when the diameter is 155 
the texture depth is somewhere around uh, 1.29 and when uh, the diameter is uh, say around uh, 218 the texture depth is 0.65 so based on the table uh, which is uh, table 600.5 if you see there are two tolerances given one is for the initial period and the second is for the later period of uh, six weeks before uh, opening to traffic so under any circumstances when your diameter when the sand diameter is in between the range that is if the diameter is between the range of 157 millimeters to 218 millimeters then the possibility or the chances of acceptance is high as far as the texture depth is concerned anything below 157 and about 218 will not be in the tolerance limit of uh, texture depth as stated in MRTH specifications. So this is a basically a quick reference graph generally used in the field when they conduct the test and uh, looking at uh, the diameter of uh, the sand patch they can judge without even calculation that what will be my texture depth of the particular surface. So then and there only without using any calculations one can say whether what is to required to be done in order to improve or uh, in order to do any remedial actions to do the rectification on the surface textures. So to summarize this module we talked about the definition of uh, surface textures, uh, the different methods of uh, doing a surface texture methods to check the depth of the surface structure which is being done by a brush application the sand patch method generally known as uh, which will be used to determine the depth of uh, texture on a, a pqc surface the frequency of conducting the sand patch test uh, on a given uh, section the number of tests to be conducted and how the acceptance can be derived which is based on uh, the average of the five results being uh, tested on the PQC surface. Then at the end we, all, we had also given a quick reference chart showing the diameter of the sand patch and the texture depth directly without getting into the calculation part. So the diameter will give you an indication like if your diameter is within the range of 157 millimeters to 218 millimeters that means your texture depth or the surface texture depth is well within the range of acceptance as given in Morth revision 5. Otherwise it needs to be looked for some rectification process to be carried out. In the next module we will be talking about the joint cutting in PQC. Some details about what are the things one has to take care when doing the joint cutting of a PQC. Till then Thank you.